How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, I'm the world's greatest living artist. Coming to you here from uh, my art studio I just got here. Oh, man. I just got here. And... Uh, I got my breakfast. Today I got everything bagel. And some cream cheese. Yeah, some cream cheese. Something like that. So guys, I, I wanted to make this uh, quick video here to share with you guys a little something that I've been experiencing. Um, oh man, I got my Starbucks. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Good morning. How's, how's everybody doing? Hi, Rebecca. Ali. I wanted to start off this video uh, while I prepared my... Check it out, guys. Foam all the way to the top. Yeah. Mmm. For me. So I've been experiencing this thing, right? I go to Starbucks in the morning and and I, I talk to the to the baristas, right? It's, I like to chit chat sometimes. Very rare. I, I'm, I'm chatty here, but outside, like I'm uh, <laughs> I'm jealous. I like that. <laughs> so I just I I go get my coffee, right? Early. And somewhere around no, I don't know. Six in the morning, somewhere around there, and I'll talk to the baristas before before my my wife goes take uh, my, my son to school. And these guys are hustlers, <laughs> guys and girls that work at Starbucks in the morning. I'm like, what time did you get here? They're like three in the morning, three thirty in the morning, and it's just it's mind blowing, right, for me. Uh, I know it's, I know it's a job, and I know people, you know, whatever, right? People go to their jobs because they have to, but I thought to myself. Man, if I if I was as committed as you guys are to getting here early, you know, I'd be doing some other stuff. And I like to get early. I like to wake up early and, and go to work early. But but I know that that if I had a, a I don't know a, a manager, right? And I was afraid of you know what? If you're not here early, you're not gonna paint. I'd be like, oh man, I'd be on time. I'd be like, okay, I'm I'm right here, and. The reason I'm saying this, and, I, and I've been talking about this for a little, I have to prepare my bagel well, while I tell you guys about this. It's because it's so important to be early. It's just I know I'm, I'm I, I know moms and dads taught us this, right? But man, it's so true. Early early bird gets the worm, you know. And I'm not just talking about early in the morning. Early in the morning. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about as soon as you, you come up with an idea. As soon as you think of something. <laughs> my stomach just growled. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to be preparing my, my cream cheese bagel right here. <laughs> In front of you guys. Uh, if you guys uh, if you guys just... If, if we make it a point... <laughs> mine too. <laughs> to act... Uh, faster, earlier than everyone else, right? In our in our space, you're gonna reap benefits. This doesn't only mean getting to the studio early, right? This doesn't only mean um, maybe you don't have a studio yet, right? This might mean getting to one. Look, if you're thinking about exhibiting in a place, don't kid yourself. There's another hundred people that are biting their fingernails thinking about it too. It's the same thing, like thinking about the same exact place and hoping, at least in your town or wherever you are, the bigger the town, the more people are biting their nails. Uh, if you live in a small town, there's a hundred people biting their nails, being like, man, when, when should I pull the trigger, right? And this is what I mean, like the whole idea of, of, of uh, beat them to the punch. And I'm not saying beat them to the punch uh, because there is limited resources and you're going to take the resources and they're not. That's not the reason why I'm saying it. I think there's enough to go around for everybody. Uh, what I'm saying is, is don't be biting your nails, right? Don't be biting your nails, uh, hoping that that maybe you'll develop the courage to go do what you need to do, uh, to go start that artwork. You, you may be thinking about doing uh, advertisement. You may be thinking about doing some some ads, uh, marketing, uh, showing up to the studio. Act fast this, Megan. Act like today's the last day. 
You know, the moment that I started realizing this, it, it just it changed it changed my business to start out with. The moment that I realized this. And I'm and I'm still I'm still like, you know, I'm still working on it. But in comparison, because you're always we're always acting in comparison to our older self, right? Uh we're like, man, I'm so fast, right? Uh, well, yeah, right. Compared to our older self, uh, but but uh, there's some people out there, man. They're so fast. I've seen, and in in the art in the art world, we're not really, uh, we're not even we're not even. It's not that we're not taught. We're shamed to act that way, right? We're shamed to act. Many times we're shamed to act fast. We're shamed to act uh, in this in this mode of you know what? I'm gonna get er earlier than everyone else, and I'm gonna leave later than everyone else. Uh, if there, if, if someone's going to go talk to one gallery, I'm going to go talk to 10. This is my approach with everything. If you put a Facebook ad out there, uh, my approach is if you put one, I'll put 10. And that's, that's, that's how I get my stuff rolling, right? And this is something that I've been learning in my, in my career, uh, to get things done, right? If if I need to talk to a collector, right, a prospect, someone who who showed interest in my work, they're like, man, I wanna I wanna commission a work. Uh, I'll write that person's name down or whatever. I'll write, you know, whatever. And then if I'm like, man, I, I need to talk to someone, right? I need to I need to be, because you always want to create opportunity. The whole name of the game is creating opportunity. We're all we're all looking for that for that sale. We're all looking for that you know thing that's gonna change it. I don't, I don't believe it works that way. The way it works is you go and you create thousands of opportunities, you know, and then, and then some of them are going to fall. Right. And then it's like, you're always, you're always, uh, planting seeds. You're always planting seeds. You're out, you're creating thousands of opportunities. And if you're not the first one, uh, you're not, you're not really, uh, you don't really understand the game. It's it's it really is about being the early bird. It really means it, and, and, and it applies everywhere, right? It applies everywhere. It doesn't just apply in again in waking up early and going to work early. It applies in showing up as soon as you think about something, you act fast and you show up right away and you and you multiply it. Because if you're if you're first, if you're early, you begin to multiply yourself. That's that's part of the magic. You 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 get this momentum where you start multiplying yourself, and when you start multiplying yourself, imagine if there's Imagine if there's t 10 Megans, right? Working at the same time. And it really, it really just meant that you're, 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 you amped up your, 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 uh, showability. Let's call it that. Uh, Megan says like blowing bubbles. You keep blowing and they, uh, they pop. So you make more <laughs> and more over and over. Yeah. Yeah. It, and, you know, again, in, in artwork, it's one of those things that 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 it gets people get shamed because you're supposed to be waiting for the right moment, the right process, and and hoping that something good is going to happen. Um, something good is going to happen just because, right? Just because of of your past efforts, and and certainly things happen, but we do so little and we show up so late, right? We show up so late. Because whatever we're doing now, we thought about it, what, five years ago? Ten years ago? I know the stuff that I'm doing now, I thought about this kind of stuff about 10, 15 years ago. And I just never got to it. I never got to it till recently. So I know that I showed up late. I showed up very late to the game. And But, but what's the best time to show up, right? Yesterday. And the next best time is right now. So... It's you start multiplying yourself when you show up early. You start more, more multiplying yourself. It's it's a it's a momentum that starts happening. Before you know it, you're like, oh man, you have your hands full, and you show up so much and you show up so early, uh, early in the game. As soon as you think about something, boom, you act fast. You have to you have to be you have this hunger, right? And I saw these baristas, and, and and you know, I'm asking them like, what time did you get here? Three thirty in the morning because they had to, right? Otherwise, they lose their job. And I'm like, man, I need to act with that type of hunger. Like, I need to feel like like, and you don't have to be paranoid or panicky, but you you have to feel this this. I have to start early, and I have to I have to start early in everything in all my endeavors, right? As soon as I think about something, boom, go early, get get there early. And 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 uh, this is one of one of my mentors says. Do it before, right? Do it so fast 
that that you don't start thinking about it, right? You have to beat fear. The, the way to beat fear is that you do it so fast and then you figure out how, how to show up. Most of us are trying to figure out how to show up. We're trying to figure out how things are going to work out for us, right? And then we're like, oh, okay. For example, you want to do some Facebook ads. Most people are like, oh, okay, well, how do I do it the right way? Mm, the way I do it is the stupid way, right? I call it the stupid. Everything that I do, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then in the way, I figure it out. Uh, but the way I do it is like, oh, Facebook ads. Okay, I'm an idiot. Facebook ad. I'm going to do a Facebook ad, right? And I just do whatever. And then the next time, right, I'm like, Facebook ad. And then by the hundredth time, and I know this might sound like, oh, dude, you shouldn't, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is how I do everything. I, I was taught this, this concept by by a multi-million dollar <laughs> entrepreneur. Look, dude, just shoot and then figure out later. Shoot first. Don't prepare, don't aim. Shoot first and then and then adjust accordingly. Shoot first. Don't even aim, don't even prepare. Don't you're 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 killing the process as you're doing that. You know? And this is a great concept, I believe. It changed my life. It changed the way I do things. And every now and then it'll slip in. This idea of trying to figure it out first, and then I, I have to, I have to get rid of it because I know what it does. What it does is that I start, I start prioritizing, I start thinking about it, and then I start coming up with all kinds of scenarios as to why it's not going to work properly or why it, I shouldn't get there first because because something else is going to. And then you start working with mechanisms, and it's a bunch of BS, right? It's a bunch of BS. So so the training is get there first, get there early, and and and. And take action before you before you think about it. I know this is not popular. I know this is not. Um, it doesn't it doesn't sound intelligent, but it's I in my life it's the most intelligent thing that I've ever done. Megan says uh, fear makes you find resistance. Totally, totally. It's it's what it is. You know, you 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 take time. You don't show up early, and you start thinking about it. You're like, well. What what would be the best way? What would be the best? We start thinking about this kind of stuff. What would be the best use of my time, right? What would be the best use of my time? Uh, people say don't use Snapchat. So people have told me Snapchat's like for little kids. Don't use Snapchat. You know, there's a bunch of uh, I don't know, eighteen, twenty year olds and 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 below, right? Like, like, like I don't know, whatever, like children, kids, right? Using Snapchat. Uh, your clients are not there. That's the reason why, right? Your customers, your 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 collectors are not there. I find that to 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 not be true. I I'll use Snapchat, right? I I use Snapchat all the time. And again, this is something. This is a concept that I learned from one of my mentors. He's like, use every stream. It doesn't matter what people say out there. Use the stream. What I found out is that at least once a week, someone from Snapchat contacts me. At least once a week, because I use it. I try to use it so much, right? That once a week, someone contacts me for a commission. Now, listen to this, guys. This is crazy. People telling me not to use Snapchat. And once a week, I get a commission out of Snapchat. Uh, same thing with LinkedIn. Same thing with Facebook. Same thing with Facebook ads. Don't use Facebook. See, it's because there's no one thing. It's a multitude of them. And, you know, it's, it's, you want to use them all and you want to show up early. You want to use, you want to use Facebook ads. You want to use, uh, LinkedIn, you want to you want to use uh, your Facebook page, content marketing. You want to use you want to write articles. You want to do Instagram lives, YouTube's. I know it sounds overwhelming, but it's not. Once you start rolling, you start getting busy. It starts becoming so easy, right? It's like it's like people who run, right? You're, you ask yourself, man. I ask myself that. Like people that are professional runners, how in the hell do you wake up every morning and run five miles? I couldn't even like walk. One mile, probably. <laughs> every, I don't walk one mile every morning, as a matter of fact. How do you run five? You know, before before your day, be, when people are getting up, these people already run five miles, right? And they're in the gym pumping iron and whatnot. How? It didn't happen overnight. But it, but it didn't take them the whole life either, right? It was, it was, it was, it was, they built momentum. First they did that one push-up, right? First they, first they put on their shoes and then they walked a little bit. The next day they walk a little bit longer. The next day they walk a little bit longer. What we're trying to do is like, we're like, how do I get myself? This is when I get questions sometimes from artists. How do I get myself to walk, to run those five miles a day? I'm like, dude, don't worry about those five miles a day. Worry about waking up 
early enough to put your shoes on. That's all you have to, you know, I'm talking about, of course, I'm using the, the running in comparison as art. Uh, just worry about this designating a, a capsule in your day for painting. Don't even paint. Just say from this time to this time, I'm going to paint. And just get in the studio and sit there. Don't even paint, right? The next day you're like, okay, well, let's paint something. And the next day and the next day and the next day, before you know it, you start adding, right? Because it's, it's about stacking. And then when it, gets, when it gets to the point where you don't know how to stack anymore, you can delegate. The problem is that we start delegating before. I know I'm getting into some other stuff right now, but we start delegating prematurely. And what you want to do is you want to build a muscle first. So then, then you understand and you know what to delegate. Uh, do you do the same kind of things in each platform? Uh, I don't. Each platform has kind of its its voice, but uh, but you should you should do it like that to start out with. This is how I started. I started like that. I started doing the same thing in each platform. Uh, but then you start learning the voice because each platform has a sort of a tone, right? Uh, Facebook is more more ranty. People are like like I call it the 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 the, the, the the bathroom wall, right? People are like cold there and they write stuff. <laughs> Where Instagram is more friendly and more, you know, uh, more cheeky uh, many times, right? And YouTube is definitely like, YouTube is definitely like, like anything goes, right? Uh, so, so, but, but for, for example, uh, Instagram versus uh, LinkedIn. Uh, Instagram, for example, you'll put some photographs, right? Of your process, of your artwork, maybe some boomerangs or whatever. On, on LinkedIn, you'll write about the process, right? Uh, instead of doing videos, maybe you'll do like a short video, you'll, you'll use one of the clips. The, 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 the trick to this is to repurpose. If you try to create content for each one, you're gonna get overwhelmed. The trick is to repurpose. If you do, a, for example, I'm doing a video here on Instagram, right? Instagram Live. This is going to YouTube, right? And as it goes to YouTube, this you have to act fast, okay? You 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 either act fast or you got to get an intern, whatever. <laughs> uh, the talk that I just made right now about showing up early, early bird gets the warm, and on and on and on. I'll make it into two, three paragraphs, and 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 just type it up and make it a, a a short article, and boom, it goes to LinkedIn. So so you know it, it's repurposing it. It goes to LinkedIn, and then the article that I that I created on LinkedIn because people like to read articles on LinkedIn gets shared on all of my other platforms, right? Gets shared on Twitter, gets shared on 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 on, on Facebook, and gets shared on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and your email your email list. Even if you have ten people in your email list, I I, I have a few thousand. It doesn't matter if you. I remember crying when I started. Like I need the email list because I I come from the from the ideas of Frank Kern and all these other guys, which are extremely important, uh, these marketers, that the email list is your holy grail, right? And it is. It is the holy grail. Uh, it doesn't it, it doesn't work as much as it used to uh, for many people. Uh, but but creating an email list, it's really the... I'm sorry, I'm going to start eating now. It's really the way to... Uh, because you own the list, right? Instagram can kick you off. Facebook can, can stop your account. But your email list is your email list. People that signed up to your email list, that's, that's your personal, uh, it's your property, right? I have around 500 on my email list and it's so hard to grow it. It is, it is. I don't know if you tried uh, some of the uh, strategies one of them is to exchange something of value. I don't know if you, you may want to do an art class or or a little uh, a little uh, uh, it has to be a value, right? You can't just like throw anything, but you can't overthink it either. What I mean by value is something that's something that 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 people in general you don't have, don't think about necessarily collectors. Think about people that like what you do, and a lot of people that like what we do is other artists as well. So you could do something like like. Uh, I don't know, maybe, I, I think I've seen some of your work, some landscapes. Uh, how do you create large format landscapes in, 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 in I don't know, in, in, in one day or, or in a state of peace or, you know, whatever. Something that other people are, are without making it too complicated, right? 
and then you you make a video about it and you're like you can see it right i'm gonna send you the link after you sign up i have a free downloadable wallpapers and small commission discount that's awesome uh one other thing to 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 do to for exchange of the email to grow your email list is to uh give them something something more than than a wallpaper uh in a discount give them something that they are going to grow and use and utilize it could be a video it could be a pdf a small book maybe something you write and and and, and don't overthink about writing it and, and making it you know something it, it, a, a couple of articles maybe but that are juicy right uh how i started earning you know i don't know three hundred dollars a day in 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 uh on etsy or how i started earning you know how i started getting commissions here's i'm going to share with you the secret of how i get commissions people love those and on and on and on and on and and so artists are going to sign up right a lot of artists but also people think about this also a lot of artists are people that are starting out and they're also collectors. This is one of the, the, the secrets of, of getting out there. A lot of artists are afraid of talking to other artists, but those artists, uh, many, many artists, that many people that collect are also artists, but because they love it so much that they want to learn how to do it. it but, but, but they're also collect, like they were collectors first, right? And they do it because of love. They're not trying to make a career. They're not. They're usually like. They're usually lawyers or or you know, uh, they have corporate jobs. But they they're weekend painters, right? They love to create artwork or they create artwork every day, whatever. But but they're not full time artists. And they they are your collectors as well. Uh, this is a huge market, and and a lot of artists don't see this. But uh, yeah, yeah, great idea. So you want to give something of value in exchange for that. And, you know, and jump on it. Like, don't don't sit on it. Jump on it. Boom. Like, what can I write right now? Or maybe you already have something written. You know, and, and just put something together. Uh, do a little Facebook ads or something. And, and shoot it out there. Right? Five bucks a day on Facebook ads. Everybody can do this now. It's not, it's not, it's not like Google. Google, you have to spend like a hundred bucks a day. You know, if you wanted to create some sort of impact. With Facebook, you only spend about five bucks a day and you start getting, you start getting seen. And if you're doing, if you're giving some value just for, for exchange of an email, your, your list is going to start growing significantly. Uh, I can't promise anything because I don't know. But if you spend a good, I don't know, maybe a thousand bucks uh, over time, right? You don't have to spend it right away. Uh, your list is just going to start growing significantly. So, and, and that's the people you want to talk to, right? You want to continue to talk to and have a conversation with. So, that's... Uh, you can start out with uh, 200 bucks and see and see, right? But spend five bucks a day, boom, boom, boom. Talk to uh, on your Facebook ads. I'm gonna do a video about about Facebook ads, how to do it. Uh, it's very simple, right? Just just you just choose. I'm gonna give you guys a, a, a little hint right here. Uh, choose who would be listening to. For example, I I I paint like like I I I paint different stuff, right? Because I I'm, I'm that way. That's the kind of art that I do. Uh, but I did a little collection of skulls, right? And I thought about it. Well, who would want deer skulls, right? Well, two people like deer skulls right now. It's interior designers and hunters. Hunters have always liked deer skulls, right? So on Facebook ads, rather than looking for hunters, I'm like, well, what, where, where are hunters looking, right? So I went and I, and I, and I, and I did Cabela's, right? Cabela's, that, that magazine, right? That store. And, uh, and hipsters, true hipsters. Yeah, <laughs> hipsters are totally in, in, into that. So I found that that magazine, right? Cabela's hunting magazine. People like their their hunting gear and all that, camping. And those are the people that I market to. Yeah, the, the boho stuff people totally. But but I look for where they're looking, because many people when they do Facebook ads, they try to do a. Uh, um, where they, uh, where, what's their name? Like, like they'll put like interior designer or hunting, hunter, you know, that's too broad. You want to see where those people are looking. Interior designers, where are they looking? So I'll, I'll do like home decor magazine or where are they looking? Where, where are their eyes at? Because where, where their eyes are at, that's where I want to be. So that's a huge hint right there, guys. I hope it works. It's not going to work if you, if you just do one Facebook ad, Okay. 
I'm going to put it out there just so that people don't think that. It's not going to work if you just do it once. You got to constantly show up until they get, you, you become familiar. That's why people don't do it. People are like, man, I did everything you said. No, you, you have to continue to do it so that you become familiar. They become familiar with you because remember, we buy from people we like and trust, right? We know, like, and trust. We have to know them. We have to like them. How do you like them, right? Because you've seen them enough. How do you trust them? You've seen them enough. You know they're not going anywhere, right? You know, you've seen them. You become familiar with them. That's how you, be, you, you, you earn trust with familiarity. That's why advertisement is so important. And not just paid ads. Most people want to jump into that right away. The best type of ads is what I'm doing right now. I know, I know I'm being blunt about it, but you know, I'm letting you guys know who I am. Hi, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And as I'm giving value, right, it serves as, a, as, 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 as showing up into the marketplace. And, and this is what all artists should be doing. Yeah, budget about five bucks a day. One thing that I would do, Megan, is is create three three different ads and then shoot one, right? Shoot one with uh, five bucks a day for three days only, right? Like spend fifteen bucks on that ad. Once that ad is finished, shoot another one with a different with a different uh, uh, market uh, target market, and then shoot another one with a different target market, right? And then just test those three. Test those three for, for, for a couple of weeks, right? And then see where, because it'll, it'll give you the analytics. It'll, it'll show you where the people, how many clicks you get. Depending on how many clicks you get, then re rinse and repeat that one. Don't, don't keep it running. Uh, don't, don't turn it on. Once you turn it off, the ad, don't turn it back on again because uh, uh, something happens. Like the algorithm doesn't, doesn't allow you to, to, to uh, uh, the magic kind of goes away. From what I understand, so so just just start a new one, start a new one, and then like you know with the same analytics or whatever, the same uh, target market you use, the same title and blah blah blah, the same images that you put, and then there's really no magic formula. You just really want to show up where the people are at. The goal is to email signups. The goal is to shoot an email every day. Most people are afraid of that. Do not be afraid of that. You'll lose some, but you'll gain so many more, right? You'll lose some. The people you're losing are the people who were never going to buy from you anyways. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm sorry, I was getting hungry. Also, the goal is not to sell them constantly. You're communicating with them. You're creating a... Notice how I create videos here, but I'm not constantly selling to you guys. Um, I'll throw in my pitch somewhere along the way. I'll do five videos before I do a pitch. The rule of thumb is to give 10, 10 value propositions, right? And then pitch. 10 value propositions and then pitch. Follow me on my, uh, I think I think some of you uh, have seen my, my, my Facebook my face, my, my, not my personal, but my Facebook fan page. I'll do 10 things that I believe are valuable to the target market and to the people that are following me there. I know I'm being blunt about it. I'm calling it target market and blah, blah, blah. A lot of them have become really good friends as well. Uh, but give them, give them 10 things, right? Nine things. Uh, a photograph of... A, 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 don't overthink this because you're going to get overwhelmed. A photograph of a... This this is the same thing with the email, a photograph of your of your studio, a photograph of something you're painting, a photograph of uh, a photo of uh, one of your favorite pieces. And why is one of your favorite pieces? Maybe you don't have to write so much, just a little bit. Or I really love this piece because I love the red in this piece. Boom. You share an article from uh, the Met. You share an article from artsy.com. You share an article from, you know. A quote from an artist. I'm going to show you guys how to do this kind of stuff because you want to keep them engaged. If you keep them engaged, you keep the you keep the communication open, right? And then and then after nine things, boom, you throw a deal. Don't just blank, don't just blankly throw something to 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 sell. Throw in a deal. Throw in you know something something to especially when you're starting out. Throw in something like. Uh, 
I don't know, I, I did this painting and then I created some prints and this prints cost, uh, be true of course, right? But but this is business, now we're talking about business right here at this point. Uh, these are some prints that I created. There's only a limited edition of 20 prints for this painting. Let's use this as an example, right? The prints cost, I don't know, whatever, right? 95 bucks each, right? But for the first 10 people or for the first, you know, 10 prints or five prints, right? They're only going to be $29.99, something like that. So a, a, a door swinger, right? And be true to it, like stay true, like don't go make another 20 of the same ones if you say you're only going to do 20, like stay true to it so that you build the trust, right? You have to build the trust, you have to be original, you have to be true. That's the way you start building trust. Because people, you want people to start trusting you and the way they trust you is not by buying from you, it's by hearing about you, hearing from you. You know, they start, they start becoming, uh, answer everything that they, que that every, every question, I try to do this. Uh, as the list gets bigger, it's it's a little harder, but you got to put in the time and answer people back on YouTube and everywhere. Because every time, this is something that I learned from a coach too. I used to not want to do it. I used to like, no, I'm busy. I'm trying to create artwork. Every time someone writes something, right, and and I and, and you answer back, what you're doing is you're you're creating an ad. That answering back, it's an ad. It's another opportunity. Like oh that's so awesome you got to, you took the time to answer back right and then you know and then you'll notice the people that are just kind of out of a thousand there's one or two that are just kind of bothering you right <laughs> they just they're never gonna buy they're just like bothering they're like uh, I don't know they don't have time they have they have I mean they have a lot of time in their life <laughs> that doesn't matter it's part of it they want you to like answer life burning questions. <laughs> Building relationships, exactly. Exactly, building relationships. And just continue communicating with that list. And, and, and figure out ways to stay in touch. You always want to stay in touch. And and goes back to, to, to being early. As soon as someone says something, boom, jump on it. As soon as someone uh, asks you a question about a commission, don't be like, oh, I'll get back to you tomorrow. You killed the sale already at that point. Get back to them in that instant. I know it's not, it's not popular in art, but most people that paint do not make a living creating artwork because they don't understand marketing and sales, uh, sales techniques. They just don't understand the market. So they, they focus on the artwork, but they don't understand the market, and that's why they say stuff like, like, oh, hold on, take your time, don't look desperate, blah, blah, blah. No. Sales is a whole other beast. Marketing is a whole other beast. Marketing is, is, is showing up, showing up, showing up, showing up. Sales is asking, is actually asking. Here, I'll give you this painting for that much. Is actually closing, right? You're, you're asking. It's not even closing. Closing is, 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 is give me the money. <laughs> I know I'm being blunt, but that's how I am. <laughs> no, I'm not like that with people, okay? When I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when you're communicating, you can't be like that, of course. You can't be like, give me the money. <laughs> There's a, it's not going to work. There's tactical ways of doing it, but, but it really is just about creating that relationship, you know, and as much of, as much opportunity as possible. And that's how, that's how things are going to start rolling. See, what most of us do is that we try to create one opportunity every, I don't know, once a week. And that's the problem. Like your stuff is beautiful. And if you don't show it enough, we're afraid of showing it enough. It, 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 because we don't have enough content, right? I'll do one video about this. Then I'll talk about something else. I'll talk about a painting that I love. And then I'll talk about a quote that I love from this artist. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a relationship, right? I'm being very open with you guys as to how this works. Creating a relationship. And, and then someone is going to raise their hand and say, Dude, I love how you paint. Do you teach? But as a matter of fact, I do teach. You know, someone's going to raise their hand and be like, can you coach me? As a matter of fact, I do coach, right? Someone's going to raise their hand and say, can you uh, show me how to mix paint and this and that and blah, 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 blah. You know, of course, I can show you that, you know. And and and, and then out of all those people, someone's going to raise their hand as well and say, where can I buy this painting, right? So it's not just one thing. You're creating multiple opportunities. You're creating multiple opportunities. Someone that, who doesn't want it, will share it with the brother or sister who does love the kind of work that you do. And then on and on and on and on. It's a, tri it's a trickle, right? It's a, 
it's a it's it's like dropping something on, a, on on water and the waves right it's an effect so every seed that you drop you're creating opportunities uh i think most of us don't know how much is too much or too little there's no such thing as too much if you if you got it's true if you got enough content to share every second you will do it you know who does that All, all other companies that are that are thriving do that. If you got enough content to share something once every hour, do it. There is no there's no such thing as too much. The number one problem that every single entrepreneur, every single because I, if you're an artist and you want to do this full time, uh, please know that you're an entrepreneur and you have to start behaving like one if you want if you want it to work. Every every. Uh, Every person that is creating an impact in the marketplace or is the, the number one problem. Let me get back to this. The number one problem that everybody has. There's only one problem. It's obscurity. If you're obscure, forget about how great you paint. Forget about how great of a message you have. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. Right. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. It's the only reason why we pay attention to the Kardashians, because we know. Right. It's the only reason why we pay attention to to. Uh, you know, some, some of those businesses are McDonald's because we know, we hear about it constantly. We hear about it. Some people are like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. But, but the more people know, you know, you're going on a road trip. I don't eat McDonald's, but if I'm going on a road trip, right? I'm like, oh, let's stop at McDonald's, right? <laughs> because you hear about it. It's there. It's constantly showing, showing itself. Uh... The Xenophiles says, uh, on Instagram, I've noticed artists and other businesses uh, do contests, giveaways, and ask people to share the content. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's everything. It's not one thing. That's a perfect, that's a perfect example. Like, I'm going to tell you guys something. It's not the strategy. It's not one action. Like, I've never done one thing that ha that, that has catapulted my, 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 income or my business or it's not one thing it's it's using all of them right or as many as you can handle all the time right so you're, you're usually just you know it's i mean what would win you know if you're if you're i'm gonna give a, a, this is a stupid example right war what would win the one that's like throwing pebbles or the person with a machine gun right you're, you're throwing you're throwing you're throwing you're throwing and it's different things it's different things right So it's really it's really that way, right? It's 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 there's no one there's no one thing, there's no one way. It's all of them and all the time. It's all of them and all the time. Once you start building and it's a muscle too. In the beginning you're going to want to do them and you're going to be like, "Oh, no, F this." Right? But you can't start like that. You got to start with one thing and then pile another one. And then that's working. You got that down? Okay, go put some It's like weights. That's why people don't get it when I talk to them about this kind of stuff. People don't get it. People are like, "How do you do what you do?" I'm like, "It's like weights. I I didn't start with all this weights. I started with the bar only, right? And then I'm like, I can handle this every day. And I start putting something else, right? I can handle this every day. And then you put something else. So I started with, I started with uh, just uh, Facebook, right? Just talking with people on Facebook. It's totally the 10x concept. The 10x concept, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're referring to Grant Cardone. The 10x concept is you gotta do, you gotta do all of it as, as frequent. It's frequency. What you want is frequency. You want frequency. Grant Cardone is a master at this, right? And he, he's teaching a lot of people about it. It's frequency. You want to be able to do volume and frequency. You can't just do volume without frequency. And you can't just do frequency without volume. If you really want, if you really want people to start noticing you online and offline, and you can't just use stuff online, you got to go everywhere, right? And it's a muscle. You, you start getting, you start building that muscle. So you can't start with all of it. You got to start with one thing and then pile and pile and pile and pile. I'm at a point. Where I realize I'm piling so much that I'm like, whoa, man. Like, I can, I can now, right? Because the money starts coming in, right? 
I can now delegate this to someone else. Now I'm looking for someone to help me write articles, right? Now I'm looking for someone to help me uh, do Instagram full time. I'm, you know, Instagram, uh, like, uh, what do they call it? Uh, sponsors and, 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 and shout outs and, you know, looking for shout outs, looking, not looking, giving, giving value and receiving value, right? Are you, people that ask for shout outs never get anything, right? But you have to give value and there's clever ways of doing it. Everybody knows them, which is don't do them. So instead of one painting per week, you would do two paintings per day, small ones to start and share the process of your marketing touch. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's not just painting. You could be talking about different, different things, right? Now, if you're selling one painting a day, if whatever you paint, you sell it. I mean, don't stop there. Do another one, right? Do another one and sell it. And, and, and you, you're going to find... That place, it's not a balance. I don't call it balance because I don't believe in it. Uh, I believe in spiritual balance, but not that. Uh, you, 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 you gotta, you gotta find your, 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 your place where, where you start growing, right? You gotta find that place where you start growing, and you won't notice until you get frequent. You gotta start getting frequent. It's the frequency, really, guys. It's. You can't get good without being frequent. You know, it's like, it's like no one has that talent. And if they do, they'll, they'll, they'll waste it if they don't get frequent, right? You got to get frequent. You can't just do one video every now and then. You can't just do one painting every now and then. You can't just do one Facebook post every now and then. Frequency. That's why people hire people because they're trying to multiply themselves, right? Why do they multiply themselves? Because it's a frequency. The more this is happening. Now you start getting people from from magazine ads. Uh, you get someone in your studio to maybe contact PR, right? Do some PR, contact their local chamber of commerce, and on and on and on and on. And it's all this stuff. It's not one. And in order to get it done, you got to be an early an early bird. You have to just jump to it, jump to it, and, and think about it later. I know this, this is a freaky concept and it's it's not popular, but. Um, I don't know any other way. I just, I don't know. The people that I see that are overthinking it, I see them not creating anything, not selling, not not really creating an impact. Uh, I have no idea how, how else to do it. Everything in life that I've gotten, uh, like you, I just sit there and dread about getting married. Oh my God, how, you know. The best things in life, you jump into them, right? I didn't sit there for weeks or months. Oh my God, should I have a kid? Should I have a child? Should I have a child? No, let's have a child. All right, you know, let's bring a let's bring a little sucker to the world, and you just you just do it right, and then you figure it out. And then you figure it out, and that's how that's how this that's how this works. That's how I look at life. You gotta just start shooting and then figure it out, and and, and you'll adjust accordingly. So I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, Remember, guys, be early, uh, be hard, right? Be hard at it. Uh, aggressive is what I mean. And be frequent. You lose some people. Some people are going to be like, ah, but you're not spamming them. You're not spamming them. You're sharing valuable content. But uh, this was gold. I love that. Thank you so much, Megan. You're sharing valuable content, but but you're, you're diversifying. Your content needs to be diversified. Okay, if I were to do just videos like this, people would be like, oh, that's awesome. That's nice. But I can't just do videos like this. I got I to gotta do videos where I show people about watercolor techniques, about what what things, uh, what uh, mediums there are in painting, how to hang a painting, how, how to talk to interior designers if you're trying to sell to interior designers, how to organize an art show. And on and on and on and on and on. So, so that you're, you're, you're diversifying your content. Content needs to be diversified. In order for it to work. Otherwise people will tune you out. So. But. Even more important than diversifying content. Because many times. That, that can be a stopper. If you want to start there. Don't start there. Okay. You'll get to that place. What you want to do is get frequent first. It doesn't matter if you're repeating yourself. It's fine. Get frequent. Get frequent. And then you start getting good. You will not get good unless you get frequent. It doesn't happen that way. It's the other way around. It's sort of like saying I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get the strength to go lift those weights. 
it's stupid, right? No, you you lift the weights to build the strength. So I leave you, I leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. I know that 99.9% .9 of artists out there don't think like this. So you got an advantage. Whoever's listening to me, you have, you have a huge advantage because most artists don't think like this, guys. And that's why they're, that's why stuff is not working for them. I started thinking outside of the, the art industry. I started looking for who else is winning and they're not an artist. Because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, it was not easy to find artists who were, who were, who were making a living and who were creating impact on the marketplace. So that's a little tip right there, extra. Go find out someone else that, that also uh, is doing something right and apply it into your art. I started, I started listening to, to photographers and I started listening to, to other people who were not necessarily doing exactly what I was doing. I started looking at, at songwriters. I started looking at, at real estate agents. What are they doing? Why, why do they get so much business? What are they doing? You start questioning that, right? And you start figuring things out. You start figuring they're working, uh, they're working really fucking hard. <laughs> I'll leave that to you guys. Take care. Adios, amigos. If I knew how to turn this thing off. <laughs>